Hello guys, welcome to a new video. So in this video, I'll be showing you how you can create that smooth transition effect. First of all, shout out to Mr. Jamie Fenn for showing us how to do this tutorial. So if you guys have not checked him out yet, uh, please do check him out. He has a lot of amazing tutorials on his channel. So thank you once again, Jamie Fenn for showing us how to do this. Now I would advise you not to skip any part of the video because I'll be covering very detailed step on what each node does on this particular transition. So let's dive into DaVinci Resolve to show you how it's done. So the two footages that you would need is an eye opening shot and something like an FPV or a drone shot. So these are the two clips that I have. Now what I have to do is uh, just bring this on top and make a cut here. And uh, I'm going to highlight these two, right click, new fusion clip. Then come to fusion. So let me just arrange it in such a way. If I press one on the keyboard, I will be able to view what is happening on the screen right here. So you can see that this is I. So I'm going to rename this to eyeball. And obviously this will be the drone shot. Now here the drone is on the foreground and the eyeball is in the background. Uh, you can see that using the arrow color. So I need to change that. For that press on merge and press command plus T. So you can see that now the eyeball is in the foreground with a green arrow and the drone shot is in the background with a yellow arrow. So let me bring it here and now press eyeball shift spacebar and select planar tracker. Now first press set and in the motion type change it to translation and rotation. Then mark a point on the pupil. To track this portion right here now just press track forward in time it's gonna track that slight motions okay now you bring the cursor here and you need to track in reverse also so press this one track reverse okay so the tracking has been completed so once the tracking is completed just press on create planar transform this contains all the tracking information now you can delete this tracker node and just join this planar transform to the eyeball so this contains all the tracking information. Now selecting planar transform, just select this eclipse node. It's like a mask. Make sure that this eclipse node goes to the yellow input and not to the blue input. Now you need to invert this one. So you can see that uh, whatever is in the background got highlighted in this very mask. You need to adjust it as per the eyeball or the iris. Nice and easy. You can play with the width and the height and even the X and Y coordinates. Nice and easy. Okay. And now you can see that this ellipse will stay as per the tracking data. It will not move from there. I'm going to increase the soft edge to a little bit so the edges are not very sharp. Okay, so once the ellipse is selected, I'm going to select this one right here, the polygon node. It is also a mask. I just want to create a mask like this to separate the eyelashes. You can see here. and uh, increase the soft edge to a little bit
just select all this point and you can smoothen it out here and just zoom in and make the necessary adjustment right here nice and easy like so go a couple of frame behind and check if anywhere the mask is out of place and just make the adjustment wherever you feel it is out of place it will automatically keyframe just now if you go towards the very beginning you can see the eyelash is moving uh, too much so just make the necessary adjustment frame by frame so I'm gonna speed up this process just keep moving step by step as the eyes is about close nice and easy like so so now if I zoom back and if I just play around you can see once the eyes are open it is visible and once it's closed it stays like that cool now select the polygon uh, node and select one more polygon node and do the same step for the lower eyelash like this you can take as much time on this you know to get that perfect looking mask and uh, again increase the soft edge and highlight this point and you can smoothen it out like this okay again you can check every frame if anywhere it's going out of place just keep doing it and i think it's all set already the mask is well placed okay now what you have to do is select the ellipse node and select one more ellipse this is for the pupil uh, just lower it down okay and just uh, decrease the width and match the size of the pupil the pupil is that black spot so just move it like this like this you can increase the soft edge to a little bit so now you have the pupil also ready now what you can do is come to polygon 1 and come to settings increase the motion blur so when it blinks that mask becomes very nice and blurry then what you have to do is come to uh, the eyeball shift spacebar and click transform okay so now you need to do the keyframe for the zoom transition so i'm going to come a little bit towards the middle hit the keyframe on size and then come a little bit towards here and change the size to a value 65 so it zoomed in completely but you can see that it zoomed in over the pupil so you need to change that point you don't want to zoom into the pupil you want to you can adjust the pivot right here so i just want to zoom in just next to the pupil like this so what happens it goes through the eyes like this nice and easy now you know the the keyframes are a bit rough so select spline select the transform highlight this point just press s on your keyboard to smoothen it out and you can just pull in this to make it nice and smooth like this okay so we are halfway done here in the next step what you can do is copy the eyeball node and just paste it right here and press the merge node and press one more merge 
and on this i'm going to join the the copied eyeball then come to this merge node and come to settings decrease the blend so you have this nice blend image you have the eyes and the the zoom in now you can see that the very first eyeball there is a zoom happening on and on the copied one there is nothing happening so what you have to do is select this transform node copy and then right click paste instance so what this does is whatever you adjustment you make on this will automatically be applied on this node as well so now let's join this eyeball to the instance node and from the instance node to the merge node so now both are having the same set of keyframes one thing to make note is that this arrow it should be on the yellow arrow not on the blue so now you can see that it's well blended together now you need to do the keyframe for the blending also because initially you want the blend to be at this level but once you zoom in you don't want any sort of blend so now let me hit the keyframe here and once i go forward i want the blend to be all the way zero so now you can see that it's going from this and completely to the next footage all right nice and easy now what you can do is select the drone shot and press shift plus spacebar transform and let me keyframe on the size and decrease the size and once it starts zooming towards the eye i want the this footage also to zoom in so let me just go forward to where it is zooming in maybe right here just increase the size to a value greater than 1 and go a couple of frame after that then put the value back to 1 so it will zoom in along with the eyes to get that nice blend and then come to spline you select the transform node uh, it's very rough so you need to smoothen it out just highlight it and press s on your keyboard to just smoothen it out if you want you can just push in this to make it even more smoother like this now make sure that the checkerboard is not visible in the frame you can see that checkerboard is visible here so what you can do in this case is just come to the keyframe to the very first keyframe of transform 2 and just increase it a little little bit such that the checkerboard is not visible as it zooms in there is still a bit of checkerboard visible so let me just increase the zoom to a little bit more now you can see that it's fixed so just make sure of that so once everything is ready you can leave it as it is but to really sell in that effect you need that sort of squishiness as it transitions from the eye to the outer world for that select the merge node and shift spacebar and select displace dsp and the display selected just press shift spacebar and select fast noise right here uh, don't add it in this way just add it separately fast noise and just from there just join it to the displace node like so now select the displace node and as it is moving through the eyes maybe right around here i come to the refraction strength and i put a value zero because you don't want any effect to be happening and press the keyframe there 
but once it enters through the eyes you want some sort of refraction happening so that's where i want to put the value to a little bit like so and once it enters the eye i want the refraction strength back to zero nice and easy now you come to the fast noise select the fast noise and you need to be playing with the scale and the sheath so scale i am going to leave it at a fixed value 6.3 and now we need to be keyframing the sheath so for that come to displace node select where your first keyframe is right here come to fast noise i'm going to keyframe the sheath to zero now come to the third keyframe in the displace node then select fast noise and increase the sheath value to a little bit don't put it too strong somewhere around there is good now if i see the footage you can see that there is a nice squishy animation as it's going from it you see that nice squishiness so i hope you guys learned something from this if you guys have any questions or suggestions do leave them down below i'll be happy to answer them for those who don't know if you guys are new here i'm frenzer i do travel tech and filmmaking on this channel so if you're into that sort of stuff please consider hitting the subscribe button thank you all for watching and i'll see you all in the next one